This video takes you through DronePro, the new Android flight controller software for 3D robotics, pixel space, drones. I'll start off showing the GoPro video preview mode, so I'm connected to the GoPro Wi-Fi obviously, and I'm using an RC profile. You can have multiple profiles, but in this case, moving the RC controller reflects with joystick positions on, on screen. You can also control the GoPro video cap recording capability. So when I press record, it starts recording to the SD card on the GoPro and optionally it can also record a local lower resolution onto local SD and it can also do overlay recording if that's what you want to do with extra information. It's configurable with various notification levels and text-to-speech and I'll just demonstrate some of that. Loiter. So I can switch through all the flight modes. Land. Stabilize. Again, switching through on the RC controller, but basically it's all configurable. And you can also do console messages if you want. RTL. Stabilize. Okay, so that's the main sort of overview. And now I'll switch to a different profile. I'm using an NVIDIA Shield, which has built-in gamepad. And I switch to the override RC and that means that moving the gamepad controls would actually fly the drone and if I switch to flight settings you can see you can change flight mode and also the gimbal position so as I change the gimbal slider the gimbal changes. You can also map these to gamepad buttons if that's what you want to do to move the gimbal up and down from that and you can see the override RC checkbox as well. Okay, so that's the main overview. It's also got some split screen map views. So there's the initial map view with more video area using Google Maps or Maps Forge Maps for offline mode. And then there's the full screen planner mode where you can do parameters and autonomous flights and manage your waypoints. Also, Drone Pro supports USB UVC video capture cards. And in this case, I've captured the video from the FPV view system. And you can do local recording of that, obviously at lower resolution than on a GoPro, but you can overlay information on it as well. OK, so that's basically, if I now move the drone, you can see that the head-up display will, is getting from feeding information from the onboard data link. In this case I'm using a USB data link and a USB video capture card. As you see as I move the drone around then the head-up display is changing. There's also Kim causing some interference on the UVC video but that's just the video system. Okay, That gives you some idea of the capabilities for video in the product. I'll now take you through some of the menu systems and also showing some of the capabilities for the parameters and maybe the planner mode. Okay, so here's some of the menus. I can just show you the video settings so that you can choose a video stream, GoPro or USB video capture. Autonomous mode, you can choose the Mavlink connection type between Bluetooth or USB. And with the parameters, you can download the parameters, obviously. And then you show, see the list of parameters with text, and you can then choose a parameter, and you can edit the parameter. And obviously these are just canned screenshots, but I'll just overview. And there's the full screen planner mode. Okay. Thanks for watching. More information on my website.